got to talk about this, man. Because I've been thinking about talking about this for ever since I watched Eternals. And now it's appropriate because of what just happened, I think, two days ago. So if y'all don't know, uh, an influencer by the name of John Campia. You're just ruining it. You're Look at my lips. You're ruining it. You know, he's the one that made AMC Movie Talk, Collider Movie Talk. And now he has his own YouTube channel. Uh, the John Campia show and he talks about movies and all that just like ESPN now if y'all know who John Campia is that's who he is so right so I think a couple of days ago he released a tweet and the tweet to the tweet he put out was the images of Spider-Man No Way Home Fuck! now I'm not going to say anything because I know y'all don't want to know what's in it but it just goes with what, I, what I've been thinking about for the past week, probably been a few years, really. We have to stop with the spoilers. Now with Spider-Man No Way Home, it was, you know, it was jokey joke, you know, like, oh, this person could be in it, that person could be in it, whatever. But now it's come to the point where it's like, all right, the movie comes out in the month, Everybody's getting ready to watch that movie. Eternals is done. Let's just wait, chill out until the movie comes out and see what's real and what's not. But instead, we are getting spoiled because people want clout. Now, I don't know John Campier or nothing like that. He probably a, he probably a good dude. I mean, I don't know what he is in real life or whatever, but I hate that we need to make an impact on something by messing it up for everyone else now i saw his video and he said that basically he thought it was photoshopped and he thought like oh i can just put it out there it's not nothing gonna bother me but a sony rep or whatever called him and it basically confirmed that those photos are real and that's just disturbing man I mean, I can see why he would think it's a mistake because people make photoshops all the time and, you know, photoshop is really tricky, but it's weird that he watermarked the photos. Isn't that weird? But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because I'm not, I, I was, we never had this type of situation. So besides Spider-Man No Way Home, it, it, it includes all movies because every movie we watch like spoilers are like everywhere and the studios studios must make something happen to where they have to control the narrative I guess it's getting to a point where it's just ruining the movie for us because a few months ago I was you know on Twitter you know usually whatever I was probably talking about the Sixers or something like that and then I saw an image of the End credit scenes to Eternals. I make no big deal about it. Then this week, this past weekend, I watched the end credit scenes and I'm like, what the fuck? Damn, I can't enjoy the end credit scene because someone wanted clout. And now my enjoyment for the end credit scene is dust. I can't, I can't. Okay, I couldn't even enjoy it, man. It was like, okay, this happened. It was more like anticipating it or whatever. And it's just sickening, man. We need to stop spoiling shit. And it's getting to a point where they showing spoilers in the thumbnails. They showing it on the thumbnails on YouTube. They have no, they feel like they have no responsibility, man. They think a little blur is gonna change everything. You showing the spoiler in the thumbnail. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? It is sickening. It's nasty. We have to stop this, man. And someone has to, studios have to do something. Because it's, it's getting annoying. It's getting to a boiling point. Someone has to do something with people spoiling the movie before it even comes out. So I basically want to talk about it. This needs to stop. This needs to stop happening. And it's getting to a point where I need to mute stuff. And I don't want to do that because that's a waste of time. I don't want to mute anything. 
But I'm gonna have to because people love being trolls. People love love the attention. People love clout. Or it might it might be just a mistake because just like John Canby, he got mistaken with photoshops, and it's it's just it's just annoying, man. And I just need to let that out because it happened to me before, and now it's happening. Well, it happened to me with Eternals, and now everyone else that saw the photos feel like it ruined a movie for them, and I don't blame them. I mean, yeah, let me just shut up. But, yeah, it's just nasty. And there has to, someone has to be punished. Even though it was a mistake, someone has to be punished. Someone has to get blacklisted. And they gotta find these sources that's just that just keep spoiling stuff and ruining it for everybody. Because it's ruining the movie magic. So it is what it is. I just wanna be here talking about it with y'all. And yeah, it's just nothing we can do. But just mute stuff or probably have to block people or whatever. So that's it. Make sure to like this video, comment down below your thoughts on uh, the spoiling situation. How you feel about spoilers? Do you think the studio should do something about it? Let me know down in the comments and subscribe to the channel and remember to hit the notification bell. All right, y'all.